Hey, so welcome back to Brit's Book Corner. Today's video is going to be me reorganizing my bookshelf by color. I hope, hope that this works out great. I don't know for sure. I just feel like organizing it by color is going to be fun. I don't know. We'll see how it turns out at the end and how long I leave it there. This is what it looks like when you change your mind and you decide to rearrange your books again after spending an hour and a half doing it by color.
what it looks like after. I just put all of my series together and then books by the same authors together. This way it's easier for me to find books that I'm looking for because I struggled with finding books before and I really just wanted to kind of have stuff, you know, together. I put all of my favorite authors together, all of my favorite series together. So the second time I redid my book started last night. I want to say it was like 8.15. And I was in it for about 45 minutes. And what I started doing is I started taking books off the top shelf and organizing them by author. And then I got to the point where I was like, every book I pull off the shelf is by a different author. And so I had so many piles throughout my living room that I was just like, okay, this can't work. I have to do this by shelf and I have to start putting series together that I know actually go together. And um, so I did that. And I was trying to do it in a way where each shelf was like series, like entire series or books by all, by the same author. So I was trying to do like that kind of thing. So then I'd have one full shelf that wasn't books by a specific author. And then I realized I had so many books by specific authors or so many series that just they weren't fitting right on my shelves. So I had to find a way to fit them in there. And it, it worked out in the end. But I ended up splitting it between last night and this morning because about 45 minutes in last night, I grew tired. And I didn't want to um, just do it while I was tired. I didn't want to focus on it and keep myself awake all night. I just wanted to focus on it when I was more awake and more willing and able to rearrange things and not feel so crazy. So I want to talk to you guys more about what I did with the books or what I plan on doing with the books that I did not keep and that are not on my shelf. So from the before shots, you guys seen that I did um, have a ton of like stacks of books all over my shelf. And that bothers me, like really bothers me to have stacks like that all over my bookshelf because I feel like it's so unorganized. And then I'm like, well, what if I want to read a book that's behind a stack? And then I have to find a place to put, move the stack to get the book. You know, it, it's just my anxiety runs high. And I knew that I had books on my shelf that I did not finish or that I needed to get rid of because I already owned copies of them. So I had multiples of them or books that I just didn't think I was going to read and that I've had for over two years and have not read. Um, and so I just wanted to keep that up. Um, so what I typically do is I typically right now, right about this time of year, do this whole thing again, except I just pull books off my shelf that, I've not, that I'm not going to keep and I decide this is when I start deciding on am I going to do a yard sale or am I going to donate. Typically for the last three years I've done yard sales and that was the plan for this year but with everything that's going on in the world I don't know if that's going to happen right now. So I still ended up packing up all those books. They're in a box and it's overflowing um, but I wanted to still pull them off because those books were taking up valuable shelf space. And if you, if you are an avid reader like me, you know shelf space is important. And I, I don't like double stacking books to where there's like a book in the front or a book in the back and then a book in the front. I don't like to do that because my mind automatically goes to, well, what if I want to read a book that's in the back, but I don't know what's in the back. You know, like my mind automatically goes there. And so I didn't want to deal with that. So I'm going to show you guys a close up of the box that I have the books in in a second but so back to what I plan on doing with these books um, I'm gonna give it a little bit longer to see what happens with this whole illness thing and then if I decide at this point it's gonna be too late in the year to even try to do a yard sale then I'm probably just gonna end up donating the books I don't know if I'm gonna donate them to a woman shelter or Goodwill or Salvation Army but I am gonna donate them somewhere if I cannot run a yard sale this year um, I feel like that'll be something that you know is great because anytime I do a yard sale anyway anything I have left over does get donated and um, so it's not like we're just gonna throw the stuff out so I'm gonna show you guys a close-up of the box now this is the box I just had I opened it so I could show you guys but this is what I mean by overflowing these books are two rows wide they're two rows high and then there's still books laying down on top of them and so these are just books that I'm just going to get rid of, that I'm not going to read, things that I've bought that I'm just not sure of, books that I've been given, books that I already own copies of, 
things along those lines. So these are the books. This is the box. I'm not sure what, like I said, I'm not sure what we're going to do with them, but I still wanted to show you guys the box. That is it for my declutter, reorganize video. Please feel free to comment down below if you've reorganized your books recently, what your feelings are on re book reorganization and the whole organized by color thing. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Follow me on Bookstagram for any reviews and fun Q&As. I um, plan on filming a few of those here in the future. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.